Hey, space travelers, and welcome to the second part of Flight of the Beer Can. I don't even know if it's called Flight of the Beer Can, but hey, the Beer Can is flying. When last we left our intrepid group of four people, one's just been gained by slavers, they haven't actually really done much of use. They've got a lot of scrap. I think they're wanting to get a shield or get some new weapons, but they're being intrepid. Ah, now, two... Uh, shield units? Bad. Because, remember how the lasers can only go through one? If you didn't, remember that now? They can only go through one. Because of that, any, uh... We need to hit the shields twice. If we miss once, it's kind of a failed laser attack. There we go. Why am I going that way? I'm not quite sure what I'm doing there. Okay, I'm going for the four damage. Oh, it's because they're trying to escape, I get it. Missiles. Missiles are bad even if you have shields. So, this ship probably deals with missiles slightly better than everything else. Every now and then in FTL, you'll get these moments where after a fight, you just sit there and you do not move for you know, a couple of minutes while you just repair your ship. This will be one of those moments. So, oh, new crew member. Nice. Oh, an NG too. That's handy. So anyway, guys, we're just going to wait for these guys to repair. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's the exact situation you don't want to happen, but... You know, the Battlestar Galactica has suffered worse. This isn't the Battlestar Galactica, though. This is like one of those... I don't know what this ship would be if it was a Battlestar Galactica ship. It's definitely not a Galact the Battlestar, because the Battlestar's got, you know, hundreds of people. And even the biggest ship in this game only has, like, nine people, so... There's no equivalent to the Battlestar, but... You know, the Battlestar was a carrier. This is just a fighter. I don't know, what class of ship is this? Maybe a destroyer? Huh. It's definitely a combat ship, it's not a scout. Oh, surface, crazy man. And he blew up the ship. Thanks, crazy man. Thanks for ruining our day. <sighs> okay. Shop. Ho ho ho. Glaive beam. Oh, you're thinking about it, aren't you? It takes four power, 25 seconds charge time, but three damage, and it's a... Do it. You know you want to. Yes. I I'll be honest. I knew I was going to do that, because... The glaive beam, once I get it online, um, is quite hilarious. But don't expect it in a hurry, because... Yeah, it takes four power units. So, four power units. That means that at the moment I've only got a capacity of four, so that means my dual lasers and mini beam will be offline. Um... And I would need to take down probably my medical bay and one unit of shields. This is me actually trying it out. This is me giving up trying it out and going back to the old favorites. I've now realized that I'm not going to be using this weapon for a little while. But that's okay. Sometimes it's good to have weapons for future use. I mean, ask the... Uh, um, any military force in the world they like to have weapons for future use why don't you okay see now when you start getting two shields you have a problem when that happens if one misses you're a sitting duck of course if two hit laser time And EMP on helm. And cameras are down.
No. So again, having those shields would have prevented... Any of those laser shots would do no damage to me if I had shields. Even one point in shields. So yeah, the idea that I bought a really powerful weapon as opposed to shields does seem a bit daft at the moment, I know. But a weapon that powerful you do not see every day. So, went with a powerful weapon. And it'll pay off, hopefully. Now, anyway, as I was saying in the last video, uh, the competition for winning, or well, going into the draw to win a free copy of this game, is still running. So it'll run until, pretty much until they have a price available on Steam for this game. Once they have a price on Steam for this game, I will do the draw using some sort of archaic magic, probably pulling a name out of the hat, or rolling a dice and writing everyone's name. You know, I haven't figured out the drawing system, but it will be fair. Um, and if anyone complains that it's not fair, they're probably the ones that didn't win. <laughs> Isn't how it works. Uh, but yeah, so I do really want to give away a copy of this game because I love this game. It's really fun, and I hope I hope you're enjoying watching it actually because I enjoy playing it. Even when the videos go badly and the entire crew dies in the second sector, I still have fun. Yep. The crew dies in the second sector a lot. I do like the comment from one of my friends who said, Hey, it's great to watching this video. You're not dying as much. I hate my friends. Uh, <laughs> you know who you are. I'll get you. Um, but yeah, so just leave a comment. Go into the draw. Win a game, maybe. I hope you win. This is not to anyone in particular, but I hope whoever's listening to this, I hope you're the winner. But if you don't want to leave a comment, maybe you've already bought the game. That's okay. You can not leave a comment. You don't have to do anything. But I do plan to do another video of this. Well, obviously another video because it's the second video of four. But I do plan to do another series of videos with the drone ship. Um, I haven't got the hang of the drone ship yet. But I've been focusing a lot on the stealth ship. Um, but yeah, it's good times yeah so when you're in hand-to-hand -hand combat you've got to move your crew around because you cannot afford to lose a crew member by doing dumb shit like fighting in the room forever yeah people are dying bad people though they're rebels now the game doesn't really go into what the Rebel Federation... I mean, maybe the Rebels are the good guys. Maybe it's like the Rebel Alliance from that Star Trek thing. Oh yeah, I just made someone angry with that. Okay, I meant Star Wars. I know that. <laughs> Sorry, angry guy. Didn't me. Hull breach indoors. That, that is called Retribution, good sirs. Not really. Just a hull breach in doors. It's not like doors is a very important room. Well, it kind of is, actually, when I think about it. See, door management is one of these things in this game that's rather deceptive. It's like, oh, this is a minor thing. Except it's really not... Yep. Trying to help people again. Getting myself killed. Okay, Glaive Beam and Dual Lasers are now up. <laughs> now, door management. It looks like a really minor part of the game. You're like, oh, why do you even need a thing for doors? Because doors are amazing. Doors contain fires that they contain outside. Well, those both things they do. They can also put fires out if you open the outside. Doors also allow you to kill everyone. Uh inside your ship by opening the doors to the outside world. Or space, as we space pioneers like to call it. So, don't be dismissive about doors. Doors have got me killed more than once. 
more because they were open to try and help the ship and then well shit happened now glaive beam it does three damage not one three <laughs> all right explanation time of what just happened now remember how the mini beam does one point of damage doesn't penetrate shields the glaive beam it does three damage per room massive damage so if they've got two shields up it's going to do one damage per room if they've got two shields up one damage per room and if they've got three shields up well it's not going to do anything but if they've got all their shields down that's three damage per room since it's a longer laser you can get four rooms no sweat so that's three times four twenty eight carry the three twelve that's twelve damage Holy crap, 12 damage. Even if... Even if you don't get 4 rooms, and... Like, let's say you only get 3 rooms. You should be able to get 4. And they've got 2 shields up. That's... Okay. I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's scrap. That's cool. So yeah, it's just a really good weapon. I mean, look, these people are like, Oh, we're going to kill you, bro. And I'm like, nah, bro, look, you're going to fire a, a drone at me. That's balls, but it's okay, bro, because we'll totally waste your face. That's how we talk sometimes. We waste people's faces. Oh, there's a drone. Oh, they're fighting in the medical bay. Also known as the most pointless fight ever. Okay, their shields are down. Three damage coming into five rooms. Fifteen damage. They're dead. And the drone that was wandering the halls is now also inactive. So they're just going to kill it now. Now, with extra stealth capabilities, we have 15 seconds. That is enough time to charge the glaive beam once. Have you seen anyone survive that glaive beam yet? No. You know why I'm pleased about this. Okay, crew, rearrange yourselves. Everyone get to your stations. An NG sector. NG sectors aren't scary. In fact, no sectors is actually scary. Manta scary is scary. Actually, no. I've just recently. I don't think this happens in this game because I only did it in my last game. But slug sectors. Slugs are bastards. I hope we get to see that in another video. But slugs are just. They're just assholes. But we don't see any, so maybe I won't talk about them just yet. Maybe you'll see them when you play the game. Because you will play this game. Because you love this game. Because you've seen me play it and you're like, Wow, that looks like the best video game ever. Guess what it is. Well, maybe not ever, but... I'm calling this game of the year at the moment. To be honest. Not even sucking up, I just love the game that much. The glaive beam! So strong! That mantis isn't even dead and the glaive beam just killed his friend. Well, actually, knowing mantis warriors, probably his slave. That's okay, I don't judge. Um, did I just say I don't judge slavery? Really? Okay, rephrase that. I totally judge. But I'm sorry for his friend. Ah, uh, they're going to board again. This is the exact same fight as last time. I bet it ends the exact same way. No, there's no reason of firing your guns.
There's no reason firing until the glaive's charged. Okay. Glaive probably won't kill him this time. One more hit will, though. Hilarious. That's waiting for the glaive to charge up. Oh, fires! Really? What am I doing? Alright, fires are out. I don't even need to take out the shields that time, that would just kill them. But, you know, they're dead anyway. Hey, they repaired some of my hull damage. So I think every ship has 30 hull strength to begin with. It's not a lot as you're seeing, because my laser can do 15 points of damage. And yes, the enemy can have those lasers later on. Doesn't that make you feel comfortable? If your answer is no, there's a reason for that. Because they're scary. And readjusting crew. Ah, oh, that wasn't an NG ship at all. It was a Mantis people. And they've boarded my cloaking device. Those foolish Mantis. They will rue their day. I'm pretty sure that was Skeletor not... I mean... Oh, no. Pay attention to the guy. This guy gonna die if you don't get him out. Yep. I point attention to that guy because I remember him dying. I believe at this point I swore loudly once I realized what I'd done. So... Bugger. But it's okay, everyone has to die at some point. Sometimes by ineptitude of their captain. Oh well. Just jumping from fight to fight. Like, uh. Uh, I didn't let my cloak charge up in time. Oh, that's fine. The silence before the fight is always great. Just no guns firing. That's just quiet. And then everything goes wrong all at once. And I could fire the, the glaive and don't really no I've decided not to I decided to try and wait for the shields to be a bit damaged there we go see that's going to double my damage I'm leaving the track the room uh, the teleporter room free hoping they'll just teleport out and they did that was awfully nice of them Still need to get the shields though. And that's how they die. Ah, oh, glaives are down! No! Okay, that happens sometimes. Especially with the more powerful weapons. <laughs> um, on hindsight, maybe I should have put dual lasers before glaives. Ah! Oh. That's problematic. Okay, maybe I'll explain the things down the bottom. I don't think I've explained that. So, you notice how it goes dual lasers, glaive beam, mini beam. The idea of that is if the weapons are on and the weapon systems get damaged, whatever is in front will go down first. So, given the fact that I only did one point of damage, what that would have done is that would have taken down the dual lasers, but the glaive beams would have stayed on because I still would have had four capacity for the glaive beam. That would be a good idea since the glaive beam requires more power. Of course, if then they did 
two points of damage, the dual lasers would go down, the glaive beams would go down. Then you'd just turn the dual lasers back on again. It wouldn't be a big deal. Actually, I don't know if that would happen. Would the dual lasers just stay on? I don't know. Maybe run the research yourself. Now I actually have to do damage to them because they've got three units of shields. Now they're getting into some tough fights. But not tough enough to avoid this laser damage. Yeah, go for the four rooms. And look at them scurrying around like ants. Ooh, ah, 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 fire and oxygen. That'll teach me. Ah, uh, cloaking again. Oh, this will kill them. Glaive Beam. Truly the best thing in existence. It's so good. Like milk. Anyway, guys, this is the end of part two. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will catch you in part three. See you next sector, guys. Thank you.